Let's -a go. Oh, what is going on, guys? It is me, the Ninja Reviewer, here, and it is time once again for another exciting episode review of One Piece One. Episode 755. This week's episode of One Piece. Oh, man. Yo, the Jack hype is real, y'all. The Jack hype. The Jack hype is real. The Jack hype was so fucking lit in this episode. Love the Jack hype. It was just extremely real. First of all, we had... Oh, man. Jack, Jack, Jack was a beast. He really was. When we saw images of what he was doing and shit, like, this dude was on, like, a massive... Well, first of all, I'm not going to really spoil that. But there were images, the way they showed Jack's face and everything, the way he was just cutting dudes up. And like just fucking massacring them, like yo, like yo, oh my god, shit. They're showing this shit way too early compared to the manga because in the manga we didn't see most of those scenes, not as of yet, until we know leads way on what really happened on that incident when Jack was around. But during from next week's preview, it looks like we're gonna get the story of. The curly hair pirates, <laughs> what they're called, the curly hair pirates, which is known as Sanji's group. So we're gonna get that next week in the next episode, and that shit is gonna be pretty fucking hype. I'm not gonna lie, that shit looks really good. The animation, it looks like for some odd reason the quality sort of dropped in that one, which I guess is because they're just reusing footage, I guess from like Dress Rosa or something, which is kind of odd. I'm like son of a bitch because when we're on Zoa, it looks really good, but going on there. I don't really know, but mainly though, I am really excited though. I really cannot wait because there were certain scenes that did look really well done. They really did. They looked extremely well done. So that's pretty awesome right there. So we got that, and yo, when you see this, when you see this man's bounty, I believe if it's gonna count, if it's gonna cover chapter, what is it, eight hundred and seven? I believe yeah, eight hundred and seven. Then I believe we're going to get that part. When we get to reveal not only the Jack character, but his devil fruit. Yeah, oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Not being hype, not being hype. Well, who's that? Basically, in this episode, we see uh, that pretty much what happened from uh, last time is well, the Straw Hats, well, basically, there's some things that happened in this episode. One is that the Straw Hats finally reunited again. And what happens is, is that we found out from the last, from where it last left off, with the uh, with Zunisha, when Zunisha was pretty much you know taking his daily shower, that's what the water, well that's what the water current is. It's basically him taking you know taking a bath and splashing the entire. Well, he doesn't realize you know splashing the entire town with his body, but has no choice. So it's like like a rain downpour, like a water fucking storm just landing on it. And um, Wada says that the actual ocean water itself is used for drinking purposes. So like when the water reaches to their facility, they can make it into drinking water, they can use it to swim and stuff like that, which is actually really cool. So that's actually very fascinating right there. Uh, the next thing though, which is actually really cool, uh, we did get to see a little bit of action this week. We did get to see like Luffy almost freaking drown, which I thought was actually pretty funny, like the way he actually just fell off the fucking alligator from Carrot and Wanda. And what happens is, you know, that he's drowning there, there's a shark there, and Wanda, I mean not Wanda, Carrot! Yo, my bunny waifu, man, the bunny waifu comes in there with the fucking hopping and shit. And the way they animated that was actually really cool. The way she was just, like, hopping from rock to rock to rock. That was actually really cool. And we actually see her, you know, just get there, bam, fucking rescues Luffy and shit. And that was actually pretty exciting. So we got a lot of exciting stuff there. There were some funny moments, too, where it's, like, basically... Where, like, Kara is, like, nibbling on Luffy's ear, I guess, because, you know, she's got this instinct. You know, she's a bunny, you know. Sometimes they like to play around and like to chew or nom nom and stuff like that. It was really cute. It was really adorable. But it was Usopp that I kind of saw from the four of you, which is actually pretty funny. It's like, oh, my God, they're cannibal tribe. It's a cannibal tribe. They're eating Luffy's ear. It's like, oh, my God. Like, really, Usopp. Like, I know I saw Sawyer's review on the last episode where he said that, 
um, the way Toei animated Toei Animation did Usopp. Now, granted, he did do some of that stuff in the manga, but I can sort of agree that it wasn't to this extent. But I think in this episode, it was a lot more. And I'm like, okay, there's no way Usopp is as much of a pussy. Because I remember way, like, in the manga from when I read it, it wasn't that bad. I'm like... I mean, yeah, he did, you know, do a lot of that. And you know what? It's not just really Toei's fault, you know. Um, Oda sort of did that, the same thing with Uzo. I'm thinking, come on, bro. This is God Uzo we're talking about. <coughs> the man just unlocked hockey. The man just defeated one of Dolphamingo's top executives. Like, are you kidding me? He saved the entire fucking nation, bro. And I'm like, dude, what what the hell? So it's like, I don't, I don't understand... Why, uh, there's not, it's not really just Toei, but Oda sort of did the same thing with his character. I mean, it was funny, don't get me wrong, but it does get a little bit annoying. By the way, I don't know why we didn't use different eye catchers this time. I thought we were going to use, like, somebody's, like, Zoro's or something, but no, we only used Usopp's and fucking Ramen's, which was odd. But maybe we'll get to use Frankie, maybe Nami and Chopper now, because it's obvious that Nami and Chopper are reunited now with Luffy and the crew, which I'll explain a bit. So then we get um, Ganju, Ganju, which is going to be a running phase, running, a running saying. Like all these One Piece characters have this saying. Like we all know this from previous episodes or chapters of the manga. Yeah, basically Garchu is some sort of form of like you know like yeah or or awesome, like a happy sort of saying. I guess you could sort of say in their own language. So, anyways, um, when it comes to this episode, though. The Jack hype, though, was actually really good. I like the Jack hype in this episode. It was really well done. Um, that was actually really cool. And what I also liked, too, and, you know, we had some funny moments there, especially with the numbing uh, of Karen and them. And then, of course, Wanda giving Luffy the, the greeting, the island greeting of her giving her that tongue action. It seems like Karen and Wanda want that monkey day! And fuck you, cheap censorship. Now, I'm not going to say... I C K because A I don't well that again fuck that shit. I believe when it comes to that mm, I might make a video about that, maybe. But everyone in the grandma's already made a video about that by now. But regardless though, um I don't think it's really affected me that much. Cause I think it's like mainly like the more topper YouTubers that's been doing that. For me, I don't really make too much money off my videos anyway. So it doesn't really conflict me that much, but I mean, yeah, I think I, my Bayonetta, like, one of the parts I think did, but then all of a sudden it magically got monetized in, like, two days again, which was kind of odd, but whatever, because YouTube, silly, silly YouTube. Anyways, so, when it comes to um, the other stuff in this episode, we see Nami and Chopper are reunited with Luffy in the game, but there's, where the hell is Brooke? Like, once they get to, no, also, I forgot to mention, the two guards that we saw at the entrance. We saw this uh, goat guard, and we saw... I forget what the other one was. I don't remember. But basically, I like this one sheep that, like, Nami is sleeping on, which is actually pretty sexy and pretty cute at the same time, where she's sleeping on that. And then also, um, I guess it's like a wool pillow. Like, I forget the... I forget I forget his name, though. He's so goddamn funny. Like, this dude is the most laid-back monk. He's strong as shit, but he's laid-back as fuck, but... I like him, though. In the manga, he was actually pretty funny. But we'll see more of his character quite soon. But anyways, though. Um, yeah, so that was actually pretty funny. It was, you know, Chopper being all cute, kawaii. Like, ah, oh, we get to see you guys again. And stuff like that. And it was actually, you know, pretty funny. Um, and then, the biggest shocker that's making every anime fan go insane. And that is the very end where... Nami gives Luffy a big, incredible hug. A really big, gigantic hug. Squeezing him really hard. It's more shipping involved. <laughs> but anyways, the very end of the episode, we see Nami just squeezing the living shit out of Luffy, saying, I'm sorry, Sanji is... And then that's the end of the episode. Huge cock tease. I'm not gonna lie. Huge cock tease of an ending. I remember... Me being a manga reader, when I read that chapter last year, when I read that chapter last year, and then, oh, what even made it even more blue balls was the fact that that week after that, there was no chapter. And I'm like, oh, why, Oda, you fucking bastard, why? So that really got to me right there, though. When I first read the chapter, 
Um, last year, I might be. Yeah, it was last year when I read the chapter. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, oh my god. So that was the biggest moment. I was, like, I was hyped for Jack also, but I forgot to mention that ending, man. Yo. Yo. That ending. That fucking ending. Oh my god. That set the bar for all the anime fans. For non manga readers, for the anime cats that are going ape shit crazy. Like, where's Sanji? Where's Sanji? Like, what the fuck? So, that ending alone was pretty big. But in the preview, we are going to see what is going to go down and what's going to happen on their side of the story. Now, I think they're just going to basically cover the chapters because I know in the manga, it takes a while for them to finally reveal what it is. But, you know, there are a couple chapters where it will tell you a lot of important, crazy shit. But then, you know, then we get to the main meet, which is a bit later on. It's actually pretty good. It's, like, again, the payoff is actually really good. So I am really glad we are getting an episode next week. Because, oh, that would have that would have been such bullshit. If we had no new episode next week, because that would be bullshit. But no, that wasn't it. We are going to have an episode next week. So at least compared to the manga... We are going to have an episode. Unless they dig tease us and then it's like, oh, something happens, so no new episode, which... Mm. But, again, I'm not going to spoil anything incredibly big. I'm not going to spoil anything on what really happened to Sanji. If you watch my live reaction slash reviews, you would know definitely, we manga fans, I did this last year when I did my live reaction and the review. So... You already know last year, I already know exactly what happened, but man, it is it is worth it. It is truly worth it. So yeah, um, that'll be it for this episode. Now, when it comes to this episode, we learned about, you know, Jack. We learned about that he pretty much tore the city into an... Oh, wait, I forgot one more thing, too, about this episode. Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. My bad, my bad. I did forget some stuff. Tinemon and Kanjiro, they're riding on this Niko Masiju, whatever it is. It's like a new form of, like, we don't know, Ske, except it's a a fucking cat. And the cat looks even more retarded than fucking Reno's game, okay? So, we got that, and they're still struggling with the mountain. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, there is one message I really like from Wanda where it's like, you know, we will only judge you by your personality and how you act, and we don't judge by race, which I thought was a huge, important, important, important factor. I love that speech where Wanda said that. And it's some such true shit, because it does relate to the world we live in today. Like, you know, when it comes to all these problems with racism and stuff like that, it's like, no, we don't judge you by your race. We don't judge you from what color skin you are. We only judge you by your personality. And that was good. See, I like the way Oda combines, you know, that into, like, racism into the real world, which I thought was very creative and very smart, very intelligent. Props to Oda, which is why he is... The, the Goda. And that's basically it for this episode review. I went on for a bit too long than I thought. Uh, my final score for this episode, uh, wow, because of that huge, huge, huge cliffhanger at the end. Uh, and then, of course, we got the big important reveal. Uh, and then we got, you know, those shocking, violent images of Jack with a whole bunch of comedy thrown into it. Oh, man. Um, if it wasn't for the, the ending, which, okay, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to give this episode a, um, let's see. No, I mean, we had a lot of good comedy moments. Uh, the animation was fine. I like the animation. The animation, again, was actually pretty damn good. Very great for Toei standards, surprisingly. And, yeah, um, overall, I thought it was a great episode. So, you know, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, the only reason why I'm going to give it a few points down was because, um, there wasn't really too, well, yeah, because, um... Yeah, because, you see, if it wasn't... F well, it makes it great. And I guess I could take five points off, I guess, because of the... Uh, uh, about how long it actually took to get to the uh, episode itself. Because it took... It did take about to the five-minute mark. Usually, beforehand, it was, like, only the four-minute mark or three-minute... Well, somewhat close to four minutes itself. But no, because we had the recap. We had all this. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to give it a 4.5. You know, I'm going to make it great because... After that, the only other thing is, is just, I wish we could have gotten more stuff. Like, I really wish we could have had, like, one more chapter combined in the episode, which would have been cool. But other than that, I guess, you know what, we'll make it a great episode. Not not a 5 out of 5 quality, but 4.5 overall. So 4.5 out of 5. Um, I, okay, they did stretch out, you know, a couple things here and there. There wasn't really anything that huge important to cover. 
I mean, they did get from point A to point B, which is fine, because most people would be united. But other than that, that's pretty much it. But it, it would have been just like a four out of five episode. It was pretty good. However, though, thanks to the ending, it gets it jumps right up to the 4.5 rating because of that. So it gets to 4.5 due to the fact that um, it did make a grade because the ending was such a huge impact. Like, it wasn't even funny. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's episode of One Piece Watch 755. I'll see you guys next week, of course, for 756. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Crunch that like button. Please spread the word of the Ninja Reviewer. It definitely helps. Until then, this is Ninja Reviewer signing out saying peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky. <laughs> sky Enemy, Sky Pia is the limit. And I will see you guys next week. And also don't forget to check out my manga live reaction slash reviews for you manga fans. Oh wait, I'm sorry, there's no chapter this week. Shit. Well, the following week after that. So until then, I guess it's just the anime for that week. So yeah, bye-bye.